from Coach. Well, uh, and man, first of all, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What a what an unbelievable uh, season, um, ups and downs. Adversity, triumphs, just you know, ebbs and flows, and and uh, just so proud of our guys and how they've responded every time. Um, you know, I, I was very clear after the last game that you know we didn't give an effort worthy of, of wearing the K State uniform, and they didn't take offense to it. Um, they embraced that um, we have higher expectations of ourselves, and. Um, and they responded, and that's a really good Iowa State team. And uh, hats off to, to TJ, those guys, and um, you know, um, just just really, really thankful. It's always great to walk off that floor in the air, senior night, uh, with a win. And those guys will remember that for the rest of their lives. Jerome, how fast did you see the guys respond in a positive way to your challenge? Um, man, it was. Uh, we walked in. Walked in the room, and everybody was down. You could feel it. And then uh, presented the path to them, and uh, that there's a path to us getting to where we want to get to. And uh, and like immediately, you saw the stuff turning in their heads and light in their eyes. And um, and so it staff did an unbelievable job of presenting it and what we needed to do and and how we could get there. And and I mean, it was just life. You could just feel it. And uh, so it was, it was pretty great to watch. And winning on senior day, what kind of momentum can that give you guys heading into the postseason here? Wait, man, winning on senior day against the sixth ranked team in the country, giving us our fourth top 25 win this year. And um, I'm not sure exactly what happened with Villanova today, but there's a chance it, it moves to, you know, six quad one wins and um, three top 10 wins, you know, in the country. And uh, I mean, that's, uh, pretty impressed. No, no quad three, no quad four losses. You know, it, it's a it's a building of a pretty darn good resume. And uh, you know, I, I didn't know at the start of the year. Well, I've never been told that um, you have to beat certain teams by certain amount of points. I just heard you got to win, right? And we've won all our quad three and all of our quad fours. And now we get to go play on Wednesday, which is great because you have to play five games in five days and uh, and it's going to be another quad one game and, and so there's there's opportunity there's a path for us and so i'm excited about that path and uh you know just just looking forward to to watching how our guys respond tj mentioned that uh, you guys beat them in a lot of the areas that they they take pride in but how gratifying is it to you win the points off turnover second chance and uh, fast break points, especially after the, the last performance. Yeah, no, it was really gratifying. I thought we won the 50-50 balls, too. And that was it. like you don't have a chance of beating an Iowa State team that TJ coaches if you don't win the 50-50 balls and win the, the hustle stuff. And you can even win the hustle stuff and still not beat them. They're that good. And so, yeah, we had to, lead, we had to do that to give ourselves even a chance to win. How important was this game for Cam to get his confidence back up heading into Kansas City? Yeah, no, it, it was huge, man. Uh, and, but Cam, you know, last couple of days, uh, you know, he's he's looked more like himself and acted more like himself. Like he figured out what he needed to do to get himself back rolling. And uh, our our, the, the, our team, our his teammates have done a great job of encouraging him, you know, and and supporting him. But at some point in time, you got to do it. You got to say it to yourself. You know, you've got you've to be the one to make the turn. And he did that these last couple of days. Uh, obviously, last year you had a lot of success. You were named National Coach of the Year. TJ, obviously, has overachieved this year relative to where the coaches picked him in the Big 12 um, before the year. From your perspective, how much success or what is the most impressive thing about what he's done with this team this year? Well, uh, TJ's done a really good job since he's been at Iowa State of putting a, a team together, right? Like that complements each other. And then he's done a terrific job of instilling his DNA into them. They play like him, tough, competitive, smart, you know? And, and so, you know, I said this a while like back on, I uh, can't remember what show, what I was on when I said it, but I mean, uh, TJ or, uh, 
Coach Sampson should get Coach of the Year in the conference, and both should be up for National Coach of the Year for what they've done. But, um, you know, it's, it's super impressive. I have a ton of respect for what he does and how he does it with his program, and uh, so that's why this win was so big for us. How much work do you think you need to do in Kansas City in terms of wins? <sighs> Man, you know, we make it easy if we just go win <laughs> win the thing, right? Um, you know, I don't know. I, I it, I think it, uh, two wins, I think, you know, it's pretty good. You know, um, you know, I was talking with some of the other coaches in our league, and they were like, Jerome, I know you keep saying nine, and nine for me was to be safe, right? Nine was to be safe and feel comfortable. And they said, but there are going to be teams with eight wins in our league to get in. And uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, but us, for us, man, we just put it in a box and – Go go get the next one, you know, and uh, enjoy. We didn't get to stay in Kansas City long last year, so hopefully we can stay a little bit longer. The the way David's playing right now, do you see yourself putting a full court press on him after the season to try to convince him to stay? After the season? <laughs> so it's all it's not going, okay? <laughs> Come on, man. We have been, yeah, you know, like. No, we, we, we want David back. I think he knows we want him back. I believe that it's going to help his um, – career in the long run because of the growth that he's making and the confidence that he's starting to play with and to be able to you know um, add a little bit more and and do it at a higher level and yeah and and you know just his leadership skills I, I'm just so so proud of him and yeah we're doing everything we can to make sure that young fellow comes back uh, one more was there anything special you guys did to be on the right side of the points off turnovers battle today I mean when you get 20 that's got to be a big boost yeah you know um at their place, we turned them over, um, but we didn't capitalize on it, like in transition and, you know, live ball stuff. We didn't take advantage of it, missed a lot of layups and then missed some free throws when we got fouled. And, and this time we made the free throws and we made, made some layups. Back to David. Uh, it seemed like 16 boards today, but it seems like he's really, that's one area where he's really raised his game. Would you say that's where he's made the biggest strides from last year? Well, I think the consistency of him going to the glass has allowed him to be more productive rebounding. Uh, I would think, to me, it's, it's his, the way he's catching and attacking immediately. You know, like, like that's been, and then knowing what he wants to do when he gets there, for the most part. So that, that, that's been impressive also. And, um, but man, just, just his confidence, like not allowing a mistake to, to slow him down. Uh, that, that has also been a great growth that's taking place. Other questions for Coach? Okay. Thank you, Coach. Hey, Appreciate thanks a lot. Go Cats.